am Mecha Random 42 your favorite YouTube Harvey, and we have some leaked images of some new costume uh, designs, at least one new costume for Chancellor Lorel on Star Trek Discovery Season 2. Let's go ahead and pull that right up right here. So, this came from Mary Chifo herself. Now, she, she's, she's actually singing a Demi Lovato song. I didn't want to have any of the audio running, but yeah, I actually... Okay, let, let's take let's take a let's take a close look at this dress. So it's very much to my personal aesthetic. I love the black and red. I love the very Klingon shapes of it. I love that we have the Klingon insignia on the waist on the belt. Love that. I love the cape. It's very um, regal. I absolutely love this outfit. But does it fit in TOS times? Does it really fit in TOS times? I don't know. I mean, th there there is one thing. To me, this looks very next generation or even Deep Space Nine sort of Klingon outfit. If you guys remember Jedzia Dax's dress, her wedding dress was red leather on, the, on DS9. So, so I, I get the red might be more formal. They might be kind of going with that look. We need, in my opinion, if we're going with like next generation sort of looks... It, need, it needs the boob window. It needs the cleavage window, you know? And like, let's put that in the comment section. Hashtag boob window. We, we kind of need that for, to make the Klingon stuff look more Klingon. I mean, be, because here's the thing. Let, let, let's take a look at, let's take a look at how TOS Klingons should be looking. So right here, this is how TOS Klingons should look. This, this is prime example. They're supposed to be flat-headed because of the augment virus that they've you know, actually gone into great detail about in Enterprise. So totally canon. These are the totally canon Klingons. Gold sort of uniforms, very, very mesh, very gold. <laughs> gold and gray. Nothing wrong with that. Very much 1960s aesthetic. Yeah, you know, let, let me find the Alersa and Bator image here. This is kind of more what what T TNG sort of Klingons look like and you know they have the longer the longer dresses they have the Klingon logo at the waistband and then they have the boob window the cleavage window why why don't we have this for Chancellor Lorel I mean in my opinion for for your show that is so the future is female, which they've, they've leaked. And I, I have a video where they leaked some of that information where they were trying to market the show as the future is female. Why then are they so anti-femininity? Why are they so anti-sexuality almost on these shows? There, there's nothing sexual about anything in, in Discovery. I, I mean, seriously, this is this is the most sexual we get is, you know, Laurel raping Vok. In a non-sexy, almost disturbing sort of sort of scene. So why do we have? Why why are we kind of promoting the Klingons and and this whole future is female sort of sort of message? And I will link that video in, in my description below. That's one of my really old videos where um they they leaked a the future is female sort of thing at a convention a while back. Why why do we have? Why do we go out of our way to cover up? Why are we going out of our way? And, and yeah, I get it. She's going to be the chancellor. So let's, so let's take a look at this again. She's going to be the chancellor. She's she's taking command of, of you know, the Klingon high command. I can't remember the name of it. She, she's going to be in charge of the Klingons, basically. I get so, I get so frustrated. I forget words sometimes. And, you know, it, maybe because they want her to be more formal, more regal, which is fine. I mean, it's it's really it's really an improvement of kind of just the chunky armor that they had her in in the first season. It looked like it came out of Dracula, but but this, I don't st I still don't think this quite fits in. And and you know another nitpick I have that has nothing to do with the dress, but I have to bring this up while it's on screen. The hallways look very next generation as well. And they're, they're lit, well, the way they're lit here for probably, like, a, an in-between shoot time, like, it, this is probably a break time, because, you know, here she is, she's dancing, she's having fun, she's, you know, the hallways look very much next generation. They don't look TOS still. And, and, and not only that, okay, if they can look very Star Trek with just some lighting adjustments, why do we have to have it blue and and dark and depressing you know because the future is blue and dark and depressing apparently 
I don't, I don't know. Uh, and so I'm really torn about this picture. What do you guys think? I mean, this is light years of an improvement for sure. This is way better than the last leaked image with like the kind of copper brown sort of image. And I'll, I'll link that video in the description below as well. This is light years better, you know, but they still have her face too covered up. She's a beautiful woman. Why hire a beautiful actress if you're going to cover their faces so much, you know, and, and she still has a very gray corpse looking skin coloring, which doesn't really change so much in the lighting, especially once they start lighting her blue. She still doesn't really look super Klingon. To me, Klingons, um, they, they put a lot of sort of brown makeup on them, even like the kind of more Caucasian-y Klingons, they, they put very brown makeup on them. And then they have very dark Klingons and they have some lighter Klingons. But not gray like this. This looks very gray. And once they turn on the blue lighting, she still looks very gray. I, I don't know. I'm very torn about this because like I personally would love I would wear this. I would I would absolutely wear this if I were a cosplayer. I actually really like this outfit. I would probably fix it. I would probably put in a cleavage window or something, wear a push up bra, something. You know, and, and, and let's see, is there, so she does spin around. You can get a good look at her hair as well here. You, you can, you can see that it's pulled back. It's very, I mean, I, I, it works as a Klingon hairstyle for me a little bit. It's the, the makeup still is wrong. We can see Vok here. So, so yeah, you, you can see she's got it very pulled back. It's very long. It's not, it doesn't, it doesn't have the, the curliness that Klingons usually have. I, you know, I always say I have very Klingon hair because when I don't straighten the crap out of it, it is poofy and curly and, it, and it's just a mess of long curly hair when I, you know, before I actually go through and, and blow dry it and straighten it out for the day. And now I can't say that because the little Klingons were bald for the whole discovery. And, and now this is like almost dread. Yeah, these, these are braids. These might be braids. <laughs> so I'm, I'm waiting for somebody to say, oh, cultural appropriation. She, she's stealing braids from, you know, ethnic people. Or that, that'll be the next crazy thing that they say. And <laughs> you know what? Uh, whatever. <laughs> but uh, he, and she didn't design the hair, obviously, so it's not the actress's fault. We, we, we got to leave it to the hair and makeup people again. But, you know, I don't mind this. Also, also for everybody who said, oh, yeah, she looked pregnant or she might have been pregnant in the last one. She doesn't look pregnant here. The character does not look pregnant in this shot. This is a very slim, actually really nice looking dress. I I like the costume. It just needs to be it just needs to be open here. We still have the neck ridges, too. So really good close up there of the neck ridges which we don't like. I don't like those at all. I don't like the, the neck makeup at all. What do you guys think? I mean, am, am I so wrong in thinking that Klingons would have used anything that they had? You know, you, you have your, your feminine wiles. You, you have the ability of seduction. You have this power over males or females or whatever you're into. You know, you, you have this sexuality and this sensuality for a show that is so bent on the future is female. Where's the sensuality? Where's the sexuality? Where, where is anything, you know, dropping a few F-bombs doesn't make it a mature show. Having a, a grotesque sex scene doesn't make it a mature show. Have some mature themes, have some, have something that doesn't sound like junior high school people wrote it. And, and that's one of the biggest nitpicks I have with Discovery is that they, they take out anything really that's adult and they kind of are going with what junior high kids think is adult, you know, which is like F-bombs. You know, th this is basically like 12, 13 year olds getting out of video game cussing because they can. And, and that's kind of how Discovery has become. It, it is like the 12 year old kid getting on Call of Duty or, or something screaming profanity because they can because they have the M rating, because nobody's stopping them. And, 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 and they're kind of forgetting, you know, okay, you still have to give something that people want. You still have to, because you know what happens in those multiplayer video games whenever you get a squeaker on who's screaming profanity at you, you mute them, you turn them off. You don't want to hear it because it's juvenile and childish and, you, and it's eye rolling and you go, oh my God, seriously, mute. And that's, and that's kind of how we are with Discovery. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Am I completely off the mark on this one? Do you guys want to see the, the, the cleavage window? Hashtag cleavage window. Hashtag boob window. Let me know in the comment section below. I mean, is this an improvement to you guys? Is this not an improvement? I think it's, it's still a, really an improvement from the last leaked image that we saw. I actually would wear this. It's still not right, though. It's still not Star Trek. It's still not TOS timeline.
in my opinion. And and from from a lot of the other sources, like, you know, how the Klingons looked in TOS, it doesn't quite look right to me. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I am MechaRandom42. I have Twitter, Patreon. I will link those two videos in the description below. And I will see you guys on the next live stream or video. Bye!